Hello everyone and welcome back to the Key Productive YouTube channel. Today's video we will be diving into Rome research. This is going to be a beginner's guide to Rome. So it hopefully will give you all that you need to know about the application. Not only the key features, but all of the key facts and information and all of the best places to learn and resources that you need to know. So without further ado, folks, let's roll into today's video. Okay, so let's start with a fact file. I think this is always a nice place to start, it gives you a bit of an outline about this application if you're brand new to it. Now, Rome Research started, actually, I think it was around about November 2019, uh, and it really became popular over the last couple of months as a lot of people started to discover it. Many people like Rome due to the popularity around its bi-directional links, essentially working a bit like the brain, taking all of the things that you know and linking them together within the application. So Rome have a community already. It's a thriving community called the Rome Cult that have really taken this application on, building some beautiful graphs and developing the application using CSS and lots more. So Rome is actually going to be available very soon. Their wait list is going to come out and it will be priced. Standard pricing will be $15 per month. There are some other pricing that is a little bit cheaper in the long run. Now the founder of Rome is a fella called Connor White Sullivan and he, again he is an avid tweeter sharing all of the updates of the company there. So you're probably wondering how does Rome work and how does it make it a little bit different? So Rome is very simply a note taker but with a little bit of a twist. Inside of Rome you can connect up certain elements and then build this sort of graph that connects up all of your notes together. So let's focus in on a couple of features. Let's focus first on the daily note. This is basically your starting point. You can create a daily note every single day, bringing together your tasks, your notes, your thoughts, and inside of that, you can link everything up. Now, Rome goes a lot further because you can add in tables, you can add in boards, and you can add in a variety of interactive content. So daily notes is a perfect place for you to start pouring out some of your ideas as you go. And the great thing is it's all searchable and findable using these things called bi-directional links. So bi-directional links are probably the most exciting thing inside of Rome because it helps connect up existing notes to notes that are being created. So for example, if you had a note on say the Tim Ferriss podcast, you could connect up all of the notes that were together and you can even reference elements of text that were inside a specific note, which is really powerful for a lot of people who are trying to blend in and keep a tally of all of their thoughts and research. So you can find all of your links using linked references or unlinked references, which brings together all of the insights you need to know from your Rome account and anything you've added in the past. Now, there are some other experiences inside this. The, the third thing is the graphs. The graphs are obviously a great way to overview the connections, the synapses that you've made inside of your Rome account, how, say, 6th of June connects with um, a Tim Ferriss podcast, or how a content calendar uh, on YouTube can be connected to some of the other reviews that you're making. It is really expansive, and you can interact with it uh, very easily. Rome has plenty more features, but one other that makes it quite exciting is the sidebar. Now, the sidebar allows you to actively create notes um, and bring up notes alongside your existing note that you're writing on, which makes it great for research, studying, and bringing together thoughts and ideas. Now, there is something called CSS themes, which they're working on at the moment, and lots of people creating these themes. And the CSS themes makes it really exciting to look at your Rome account. There are so many different types of Rome accounts now because loads of people are, are customizing that and making it even more attractive. So folks, as you know, I am not exactly a Rome user myself. It actually crapped up on me. Um, I am a Notion user at heart, but uh, I do respect the application as obviously lots of people using it. Lots of you guys are jumping in the deep end. And of course, that's why we got Rome Week here. But I wanted to point you towards a couple of resources that I think will be quite useful in the Rome community. So the first of those resources is Nat Eelson's course all about learning Rome. It is a very interesting course and I'll link it below. It is um, something that I'm actually jumping into right now. Um, I'm about 30% of the way through it, but very much enjoying it. Next up is another YouTube channel called Shu Omi. He is a fantastic chap. Um, he 
dives into Rome in a variety of ways, not just talking about how to create podcast notes, but how to go about doing digital gardening, which is an exciting way to keep your account regularly updated and fresh. Now, I'm going to get the pronunciation of this channel wrong, Hari Shiba. She is a college graduate and software engineer that talks all about Rome and shares some of the insights about how she uses it. She has a fantastic channel that overviews some of the ways that she uses Rome and actually guides you through the philosophies very well. Now, we'll probably get her on to do a tour very soon. Next up is Robert Hayesfield. Now, me and Robert chatted this week. In, we'll be actually doing a feature with Robert this week. Uh, but Rob does these fantastic interviews with professionals about the way they use tools. Everything from the Pathrite CEO to Maggie Appleton, who we'll mention in a minute. Aesthetic usability, like a key part of any system. Like, it has to feel, like, lovely and joyful every time you open it up. Uh, and not just be like, oh, this is kind of gross. Um... So I've added in a lot of extra padding and I use um, a, an extension called Stylus. Now these interviews are available on YouTube and they're really deep, deep dives in with the Rome community that you'll thoroughly enjoy. Now Maggie Appleton is not just a Rome user but she's an illustrator as well. She has a fantastic blog uh, where she posts occasionally about Rome, uh, the top content of Rome gardening as well, which is very interesting. But if you go on her Twitter, she's very much a powered user and will give you some really useful insights and Rob actually has a great interview with her that I'll link below. There is a channel called Anomalous, um, I will put the spelling here, it has a course all about Rome and dives into it, very interesting and very useful. Notes with Ren is another channel which dives into Rome versus Obsidian versus Notion, I think it's a fantastic video that overviews what you need to know about the two or three of them and how you can make the most uh, or the best choice for you. Art, please watch the rest of the video. So, here is a quick rundown of what I will be discussing in the rest of this video. Deciding on a note-taking app all depends on what works best for you. Fundamentally, all three of these apps were made for different purposes and are thus essentially extremely different. And finally, Mickey Mellon is another channel um, and he dives into Rome through a variety of tutorial videos that are here on YouTube. So there are some official ways to learn about Rome as you may jump into Rome from this video. Um, there is a Slack channel that the Rome community have. Uh, you can follow the hashtag RomeCult on, on the old Twitter and find out some uh, you know useful ways of using it and deep conversations about how to utilize it. And there is also um, the likes of Connor's uh, Twitter page, which dives into all of the conversations. He is endlessly tweeting users, so it's a great way to ask him questions if he's able to get to them and naturally uh, dig a bit deeper into your Rome account. So there are some alternatives, plenty of them cropping up. One that we've reviewed here on the channel called Obsidian, which is a free markdown editor, um, but it does combine most of the Rome features, not some of the more detailed features, and it does lack some of the ability but it is the closest alternative right now. Now, some other ones, Remnote is more of a flashcard tool. We'll be checking that out in more detail. A lot of people talking about that one, but most of the attention at the moment is on Rome research. Now, the final two, a Dynalist, which is actually the people who create Obsidian, very weirdly, but they've been around a lot longer and provide you with more of an outline application than, say, what Rome does, bringing together interconnected links, but you can do some of that in the application. Now, Workflowy are also working hard to develop more features, and their founder actually talks quite regularly on Twitter about that, so they're looking to become more of a Rome alternative as well. So, folks, that was the beginner's guide to Rome. Hopefully, it gave you all that you need to know about the application um, and you find some use from this video. If you are new here, please do subscribe and check out all the links below. We've also got an article if you wanted to read it after and maybe even share it with a couple of friends. But if you want to share this video with anyone who is looking at Rome, then feel free to. Um, and naturally, uh, it'd be great to have you here in the community. Oh, one final thing, folks. There is a Road Rome, <laughs> Rome Made Simple Facebook group, uh, which we recently started. Um, and it's getting, I think it's about 200 members now. Uh, but it'd be great to have you in that community. Lots of people talking about Rome. Um, and naturally, it'll be a fun place to um, you know discover this application further. So, folks, a big thank you. I'll talk to you all very soon. And everyone, make sure to have a great week. Keep productive, and I'll see you guys very soon. Cheerio!